In this lecture, we're going to explore the concept of a RAT assembly language program which calls a subroutine to multiply two numbers. And here's the program that we'll be running. Um, the main exists or is placed at address 40 using the org statement and it consists of inputting two numbers which will multiply together. We call multnum which will multiply the numbers and multnum resides at program location 60. Uh, how the program will work is when we're calling multnum we're going to want to be sure that we're pushing address 43 onto the stack so that when we return from the multiplication subroutine down here we will um, indeed be able to come back and execute the code at address 43. Okay, here's the same program in the RAT simulator and we'll go ahead and just begin executing this program. I will step into the uh, I will step into the subroutines. Here we're going to enter a 3 and then we will execute the next instruction and enter a 2 and this will having us be having us multiply 2 times 3. The important thing to note here is we're calling multnum which is at address 42 and when when we call multnum we want our um, program counter to branch to the immediate value of hex 60 where multnum exists and we're going to want to push hex 43 onto the stack uh, so we can return to address 43 after the subroutine. If you'll notice right down here where we call multnum our program counter is 42 it's worth noting at this point that the program counter has not yet been incremented um, and the simulator behaves slightly different than the instructions or, or pardon me than the hardware as has been done in class with respect to how program counter is displayed here our stack pointer is at 00, zero and um, not much else is going on so we're going to go ahead and execute this step um, pardon me this instruction we're now down into multnum our program counter is indeed at 60 by doing the immediate branch. Notice our stack pointer went from 00, 0 to FF because we decremented 1 from it. And our stack, as we've described in class, resides within Scratchpad. And at address FF, we end up with a hex 43. And that 43 is the program counter value that we will return to. So we'll step through here a couple times to perform the multiplication. Here's the first time through the loop, second time through the loop because we're multiplying 2 times 3 and we're just adding 3 twice to accomplishment. accomplish this. We're going to, we notice our 0 bit is set to a 1, our BRNE. Uh, we will not branch, we will drop through to return and we're about ready to pop off the stack. And here we go, we're back to out. Notice our stack pointer is back to 0 because we've incremented it and we've taken this 43 and pushed it back into the program counter to complete operation of that program. Here's an image of an architecture diagram while we're executing the call. So this is during the execute cycle prior to the rising edge at the end of the execute clock. Notice our program counter is at hex 43. It's been pre-incremented when we fetch the call. That 43 shows up out here on the program um, and that 43 also is sitting down here on the um, tri-state output of the program count. We notice our stack pointer is at 00, zero which is where it was initialized to and we notice that the 00, zero is coming out of the stack pointer into this mux but we also notice that the 00, zero is passing through this little minus one combinational um, at, uh, subtractor uh, where it's decremented down to FF. We will pass that FF through the scratch address select mux to become the address on the scratch pad where we, were, where we will push the program counter value onto. Notice that that FF also loops around the bottom, feeds back through the stack pointer mux select and is going to be present on the stack pointer for writing into the stack pointer upon completion, or pardon me, upon the push. So to finish this picture out, we see that this 43 is over here on the uh, input to the scratch pad. The scratch pad is set for write mode with the one right there. Uh, the stack pointer is also set for SP load. And lastly, this hex 60 coming from the immediate value is passed through this mux over here with a one.